Hi, this is Sam with TGN.TV bringing you another video, guys. So, this video, I'm sorry it took so long to come out. I've actually been away to my cousin's wedding this weekend. Um, I was away for about four days. So, that's why it took so long to get another video out, guys. Um, I'm not slacking. I'm not trying to, you know... Um, I'm not one of those directors. Uh, I've seen a lot of people leaving comments saying the new directors uh, don't try hard enough. They don't get the content out. They have two videos and they just disappear. Um, no, I'm planning, I'm planning to stay here for a while. So... This video, um, more than anything, it's to announce the guild I've made. Um, I really want to try and get some more 85s in the guild, so we can do some 85 content. Um, I'm happy to interact with anybody who wants to join the guild. Um, but this video is just more of an advertising for the guild. Um, I have got some arcane PvP arena and a little fire mage guide because someone asked me for a fire mage guide. So yeah, um, you know, I made the guild a couple of days ago. Uh, a lot of people wanted to join and. It was very successful, um, so I thought I'd just do a little event with the people who joined the guild, as most people were making level 1 alts, because I didn't have level 85s on our server. And, you know, I had a lot of fun, guys, so... Me and a few guys from the uh, guild went into Warsong Gulch with gnomes, uh, level 10 gnomes, and it was great fun, and I'm happy to do things like this, but with more than 85 level, because there's so many... Uh, leveling series guys, there's so many low level battlegrounds, so I, I, you know, it's just boring to watch as well because low level battlegrounds are so unbalanced lately, um, you know, it's just frustrating. But if you want to join the guild, message me on my character Schniz on Orchin Down, and <clears throat> you know, I'll be happy to, uh, I'll be happy to invite you to the guild, guys. So you know, I'm just going to go into the uh, Warsong Gulch game now, just to show you a little footage and how much fun we had. And I was actually in Skype with a few of the members from the guild, and I'm, you know, I'm happy to interact with uh, TGN fans. Um, I find it a lot of fun, and it gives me a bit of satisfaction. So, <coughs> we're in Warsong Gulch now, guys. Um, as you can see, there's a Hengist fan there. Um, no, this this guy uh, was like, one of the first guys to message me. His name's Razor Call. Um, and... <clears throat> you know, I had a lot of fun. You'll notice that I have got an agility heirloom mace on my back, and this is because I couldn't find my strength axe. It was the only weapon I had, um, so I used it. So yes, I know it's agility, I know I'm a warrior, but leave it alone, guys. Um, so, there was only about five of us in the battleground, because I realised that you can't make a raid group and have ten people queue up. It doesn't work, so only five people can join. So there's five of us from the guild. Just doing some BG. we have got a nice little gnome priest there healing us. And I honestly, low level battlegrounds. I'm not going to do any much more of this because it's so unbalanced. Uh, hunters and priests dominated. Priest shields absorb twice as much as the base health. Um, and hunters just do so much damage in that they're impossible to kill because, you know, auto shot on the move is just ridiculous. So, yeah, I want to try and stay away from the low-level content as much as possible, but I will still do some, uh, you know, fun activities with low-level guild members. But mostly, I want to try and get some level 85. I've got an idea that we'll get about 10, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10 of us. We'll go to one of the world arenas, um, you know, travel to Nagrand Arena, and we'll do, like, a 1v1 tournament. So whoever gets knocked out, you know, next person runs in. You know, I've got a lot of cool ideas for level 85s, guys, so... You know, don't hold back, join the guild, um, have some fun, and you could be in the next clip. So, yeah, um, we'll come towards the end of the low-level BG now. Um, I would like to say that I'm not trying to compete with Hengist and Big C's guild. The only reason I've made the guild is so that people from Euro Europe, who are playing the European servers, can join a guild. Um, you know, I'm not trying to compete, I'm not trying to play each other, play everyone, all the directors off against each other. This is just for EU players, because there's not a lot of interactivity for EU players. Um, and now I'm in Arena, as Arcane Spec, with my friend. Uh, he's just came back off holiday, and he's a sub rogue. And um, he's got like full bloodthirsty, and he's got some vicious daggers. Um, you know, average geared, same as me really. And we're about 1.3k rain, so it's not really intense stuff. But I put this game in the video because I did so much damage to this torrent. Um, he's obviously got no resilience. He's a fury warrior. I can see he's got the dead mines mace there, and yeah, he's 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 not got much resilience at all. And this was a messy arena game, I have to say. In terms of you know tactics and communication between me and my friend, we were just having like a one v one basically. My friend's on the mage there, 
and I took out the warrior with a nice 46k and an immediate 30kk crit so it was nuts and here is the mage now and we'll manage to finish the mage off he does a counter spell there but I like to say that this this game has actually you know captured after 4.1 and the 4.1 has been very kind to mages in all specs um, you know they've reduced the cast time of um, they've reduced the cast time of Arcane Blast which you know is very good also increased the damage of Arcane Barrage as well which is also a nice bonus and Arcane Missiles so you know they've, they've added a little bit little more viability to Arcane spec um, only thing it lacks is survivability but with the damage you, you've given out it is unbelievable um, again guys it's a low arena rating you know I'm not trying to say I'm pro arena anything like that this was a, a, another messy game but the reason I put it in is because my overall damage in the time frame that we did this game is absolutely insane. So we see this um, low geared Holy Pal in here. And you know, every time we see a level 85 with under 100k health, we get tunnel vision. We shouldn't really start in a Paladin because we know they've got bubble and that can be a game turner. But you know, the Paladin bubbles, so I start on the uh, DK and I'm getting some decent hits off. Um, he hasn't got that much resilience and I'm pulling out some nice hits on him. You see, you'll notice I'm trying to freeze the target as many, you know, whenever I get the chance to, whenever Corn of Cold and Frost knows off cooldown because I have got shattering my talents, it does increase my critical strike chance. So, well, then again, we'll go on the Paladin and, you know, this is a really messy game. Uh, we weren't communicating very well. Um, we're just trying to burst one of them down and it happens to be that we chose a Paladin first, which was a very bad choice, but we got him down eventually. So the Palin goes down, a nice 38k crit. And then I start straight on the DK, and I just brought my friend CC by accident there. But, you know, we just want to get him down as fast as possible. And I didn't hit many p particular hits, any big particular hits, but I got a nice 400,000 damage in two minutes, guys. And I just thought that was pretty impressive um, in an arena match that, that long. So someone asked me for a fire mage guide. I'm just going to quickly go over some stuff that you need to yeah, bear in mind. So you want as much crit chance as possible because crit chance will increase the chance you get your pyroblast proc. So I'll reforge everything in a crit. Um, the glyphs are you know self-explanatory. Living bomb, molten armor, and pyroblast. All uh, pyroblast and molten armor uh, contributed towards critical strike. Critical strike chance. Sorry guys. And living bomb just increases the damage of living bomb, which is your main spell. Um, Dragon's Breath, Evocation and Polymorph. So, you know, I'm not telling you to use these glyphs, these, this is what I use, this is what I prefer to use. So, an Arcane Tree, Improved Counterspell and Netherwind Presence. You know, it's self-explanatory, you don't really need to go through them. Same goes for Burning Soul and Fire Blast. Um, now, Ignite, you'd, you'd want to Ignite on because it gives you a nice uh, dot. Blazing Speed, self-explanatory guys, it, it's a nice uh, bonus to get you away from the fight as you haven't got Icy Barrier. Firepower, you want that on, increases your damage by 3% all spells. Um, ignite, every critical strike you get will it will proc it, which this has been changed in 4.1. Cauterize, you know, I'm not going to go through all these talents because they're self-explanatory. If you actually read the tooltip, you should know why you want the talents. Um, Scorch is a great bonus. It's an it's a no cost mana uh, no mana cost spell. Um, combustion is one I would like to explain. Now combustion is a cooldown and it combines all your fire dots on the target and creates a brand new fire dot, guys. So if I put living bomb and pyroblast on the target, it'll combine the dot damage from living bomb and pyroblast, add it up, and put it as a brand new dot effect on the target. So. It's a very good spell if you manage to get Pyroblast, Ignite and Living Bomb on the target, it will do a lot of damage. So I'm just in Arena as Fire Spec with my Subtly Rogue friend. I'd recommend the Subtly Rogue as an Arena partner if you're going for double DPS. Uh, the CC is just amazing. So in terms of rotation, uh, I try to pop my Trinket first just to get my Living Bomb. Because you want to open up with Living Bomb and um, get the dot damage taken straight away guys. So you'll notice here, I polymorph one of the targets and open up with a living bomb and a trinket to get my living bomb damage up. So I think it does about 18k uh, damage over about 15 seconds living bomb for me with my uh, trinket pop there. And this was a really good uh, game I have to say played by me and my friend. Um, 
with had CC chained on the healer, you know, really well. I silenced them. My friend blinded the healer. Uh, I polymorphed them. I had smoke bomb down. All that jazz. So whenever you're playing as fire spec in arena, you want to try and get your pyroblast procs off whenever you've got the chance. Uh, you want to try and cast fire blast whenever you've got the chance. But scorch is going to be your main spammable attack. So you know, I don't want to go in much deal about that, guys. And that's it for me for today. Um. See you later guys and I hope you enjoyed the video.